Pollination of Vanilla Orchid Flower Plant Vanilla usually starts flowering in its second or third year after planting, the time taken depending on the size of the original cuttings. The maximum production of flowers is reached in 7 to 8 years. Pollination is required to get the vanilla fruit from which the flavoring is derived. In 1837, Belgian botanist Charles Francois Antoine Morin discovered this fact and pioneered a method of artificially pollinating the vanilla plant. Flowering normally occurs every spring, and without pollination, the blossom wilts and falls, and no vanilla bean can grow. Each flower must be hand pollinated within 12 hours of opening. The vanilla plant is a high-climbing vine orchid with flowers, when pollinated, produce a bunch of long, stringy beans. These beans, if properly treated, give off the flavor we now associate with vanilla. Orchids cannot self-pollinate because there is a flap of plant tissue called the rostellum, that separates the anthers, male, and stigma, female. Normally a bee pollinator would crawl inside the flower and in order to get out, it would break the rostellum, thus causing the flower to be pollinated. All this must be done with hand pollination, making the procedure tricky and laborious. A small splinter of wood or a grass stem is used to lift the rostellum or move the flap upward, so the overhanging anther can be pressed against the stigma and self-pollinate the vine. Generally, one flower per raceme opens per day, so the raceme may be in flower for over 20 days. A healthy vine should produce about 50 to 100 beans per year, but growers are careful to pollinate only 5 or 6 flowers from the 20 on each raceme. The first flowers that open per vine should be pollinated, so the beans are similar in age. These agronomic practices facilitate harvest and increases bean quality. The fruits require 5 to 6 weeks to develop, but around 8 months to mature. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.